Sheffield, of course, has this great heritage of manufacturing and of technology. And probably because of that, we have in the University of Sheffield one of the great engineering schools in the United Kingdom and indeed in Europe. We have a globally competitive group of engineering departments. If you look at Sheffield, it has an enormous tradition of being important in manufacturing, being important in engineering. But this is a particularly important time just to make sure with the resurgence of manufacturing that we're putting in place the right progression for young people, the right opportunities, the right opportunities for doing the research that's relevant. You know, all those things are there. Made in Sheffield means something. You go around the world and you say to anyone, made in Sheffield, they'll tell you what that means. It still stands for quality and reliability and precision engineering. I think we've established here at the AMRC a model for how you bring industry, universities, and the government together to try to create value for the long term. One of the unique things that comes out of the AMRC are people who are ready to move into industry, really are highly trained not just to the needs of industry, but to how you go about and bringing the solutions for industries. Our purpose in life is to help UK companies to get a bigger share of a global manufacturing market. And that generally means helping them to go into the supply chains of the big players such as Boeing, Rolls-Royce, and the nuclear, Arriva, Westinghouse, and become major players in those supply chains. As regards capital equipment and size of facility, we're pretty well unique in the world now. Uh, we're one of the biggest, if not the biggest, facility with this type of uh, machine tools and equipment. The beauty of working with uh, Sheffield University is the fact they seem to understand the need of industry. Uh, very open to listening to what industry has to say and also producing scale parts. You know, we're not talking about producing anything in labs, we're talking about full scale parts. Well, the benefit we find here, of course, is that many of our key suppliers to our own company are also members of the MRC. And so the synergy it brings from the machine tool suppliers, the cutting tool suppliers, coolant suppliers, and behind us see the robotics, which we're investing heavily in, it brings it all together in the one facility. So the suppliers we're already familiar with, and it's an excellent facility to conduct this work. It couldn't be better. It's the most ideal situation we could possibly have. We've coordinated several projects with a lot of European universities, industrial companies and smaller companies and what we're looking to do is technology transfer, allowing these small companies to upskill their workforce and basically to give them access to the technology we're developing. Everybody we meet we say what would it mean to you if we could reduce the price, the cost of manufacture of this, if we could make it quicker, cheaper, greener, what would that mean to you? And that's really the way we meet every partner and that's what we try to demonstrate and prove to them. Generally we can take about a factor of five times the cost out of any part they manufacture. What this is going to be is a advanced manufacturing centre. We've got a huge amount of money coming into the university. There's five million pounds worth of investment but two and a half million of that is going into new equipment and, and the facility. We're going to concentrate on new and emerging technologies that could, in time, replace our standard technologies of casting and forging. We are transforming the laboratory to a new state-of-the-art, rapid manufacturing, materials-based laboratory. There's uh, many more industries around, uh, and we need to be able to service all of those industrial sectors. So the equipment that is going in here will be flexible, It'll be for a wide variety of different applications. This is our main additive layer manufacturing system. It's called an RCAM. Uh, everything that we put in that system, everything that goes in the machine, more or less, with very, very small amount of waste, is used. So we, we, we get about 90, 95% material utilization. This is the heart of manufacturing. This is the home of manufacturing. Certainly the reputation of Sheffield is what brought us here and the company has actually invested more than just in the EMRC at the university. But we're now sponsoring uh, scholarships for both undergraduates and graduates. And we're looking for the future to actually be able to hire here, get internships from uh, students here, and really make the University of Sheffield more part of the Boeing UK brand. We have a strong requirement for new talent coming through the system in apprenticeships, in university graduates. I've learned a hell of a lot more here than I ever did when I was at college, full time, just from the hands-on experience that I'm getting here. Well, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? We've got a brand new machine here, worth over a million pounds. 
we get to do research work, which you wouldn't normally get to do in a factory environment. We're unusual in that we don't deliver a research report or a project proposal, we actually deliver a part and a methodology of making that part. It is unique, absolutely unique, because you don't see this type of activity. We've got competitors' machines here, we have lots of opportunities to develop things, and I think the university themselves develop things and get them to market quickly. It is in fact a partnership of ideas and enthusiasm and capability. So the value is being together and being bigger together, actually, as partners in industry, partners in commerce. It's been remarkable to see this happen over the course of 10 years, not just here out at the park, that the whole city center and watching Sheffield grow over the last 10 years has been remarkable. And this has been part of that story, I think, of Sheffield's growth.